My players broke my heart today, so I was looking forward to hosting my party at my house. I cleaned my carpets, I bought snacks, I bought a bunch of cool miniatures, etc. Then an hour before the game is supposed to start, three people out of six drop out. Now I'm still gonna play because we have three players and a newbie showing up, but it's still making me sad. I'm in my bathroom basically crying right now because I feel like all this effort was for nothing. Do they think I'm a bad DM? Do they not want to play with me anymore? I don't know. Why would they do that? At least tell me a day ahead of time so I'm not as surprised. D&D is basically the only social interaction I get outside of work. It's a joy every time I get together with my players, but it feels like they don't care. I understand where you're coming from. Unfortunately, it just is what it is. D&D is one of the most difficult games to get consistently played. Most games in my experience fizzle out after about four sessions unless you know of a dedicated store where people tend to meet. When you're just playing at home or inviting guests over or you're meeting at someone else's, they don't last for very long. It's very difficult. I know we see channels online of games that have lasted for years with great friends and awesome stories and memories, but I find that it's actually kind of rare to find something that lasts forever. After all, you're trying to collect grown adults with lives and jobs and bills and trying to get them together to play a game. And unfortunately, when they have to travel and plan and prep, it just gets very difficult sometimes to get an entire group to stay consistent. And unfortunately, the DM tends to be the one that suffers the most because they put the most time and effort into preparing and planning. And if you're hosting as well, that's even more work. I feel for you and I'm sorry. Hopefully you can find a table that will stay together no matter what. I wish you the best. Good luck.